Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One and my old barn door. And I'm still just playing with the covers from um, my paper pads. And so today I thought I would show you some different ideas of ways you can make tags out of them. And if we have time, we'll get to pockets. But if we don't have time, then we'll just do a separate video for pockets. Because I'm trying to just make these short videos. So I'm going to put these to the side. Because, now, don't throw these portions away. Because you can use those. Basically, you can use these just like you use a file folder. Because the file folders um, and these are about the same um, weight as far as cardstock goes. So... Uh, if you don't have file folders and you have paper packs laying around, snatch the covers off and use the covers. All right, so like on this one, um, you know, you can cut these into the little squares or you can cut them into whatever size tags you want to cut them into. So let me, I'm just going to do some chopping here real quick. I'm just going to cut these up and scoot these over out of the way because I was going to use these to play with as well. So let me scoot some of these over out of the way. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, that's not going to completely line up. So I'm just going to go right here to. Hopefully, y'all are not seeing my hair because my hair is nappy today. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to cut that out. Probably would have been easiest just to use my scissors. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to cut on that line there. It's hard doing this and trying to look in the camera at the same time. Now, I would cut this whole thing up. You can even use this middle part, and I'll show you how you can use the middle part. Um, if I don't get to it in this video, we'll do it in the next. Okay, so I think, I think I want my tag to be, maybe this length. So I'm just going to cut that little square off, and then I can make, um, I can make a paper clip with this little square, or some type of an embellishment, or use it in collage. Um, you know, it's a little thicker than what you would normally use in collage, but, um, I was going to show you, see the little squares you can do, this is for people who didn't get to watch my video yesterday, let me close this blind and see if I can get the lighting to be a little better for y'all, so you can see a little better, sorry about that. So, these are some of the paper, cli paper clips that we made in the last video, this is a double-sided paper clip that we made. So if you want to see that video, um, go back to the last video on my page. I'll try to remember to link the video below, but I don't know if I'll remember. So just in case, and um, it's the very last video that I did from this one, before this one, actually. This one, I added a little charm on and a little button um, and a couple, just a little, a couple of little pieces of ribbons and laces and a little tag back there. So, and then I made some bases. I just made some bases so that, you know, if I need a paper clip, I can grab one of these and decorate it fairly quickly, you know, and then it's, it's there for the taking. So, those are the paper clips that we did. So, you can save this, you know, and use it as a paper clip if you want to. But this, you can use as a tag. And I think, let me look and see. This might be, oh, it's not too wide. Look at there. So this is my um, my tag punch that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's just the Paper Studio brand, and you can punch one and a half inch, two and a half inch, or a two inch tag, and it gives you different shapes for the tag. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this up in there and punch. Okay. So then you can just use this as a regular tag. You can round the corners. Let's round the corners and see what that looks like. can ink the edges. Let's go ahead and ink the edges. And 
and then just put you a pretty lace. Um, I'm going to use some of this gorgeous lace my friend Nan sent me. And we're going to use quite a bit of it because I'm in love with this lace that she sent me. And I've just kind of got it wadded up on a card there. I need to fix it, but we're not doing that today. All right, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to double it twice. Because I like a lot of lace in mine. Now, you can... You can do stuff on the back. You can stamp on the back. You can put um, lined paper on the back, coffee dyed paper on the back. But this is a matte surface, so you can actually write on this surface. So if you just need a quick, easy tag, then just cut you a tag out of your paper pack real quick. Ink the edges, put you some lace in it, and you've got yourself a quick and easy, already decorated little tag. If I can get that through there, we'll be doing good today. Y'all, I'm fumble fingers today. I don't feel good, so uh, migraine syndrome is definitely not my friend. So my fingers tend to not want to work right when when it's acting up. So just bear with me. Huh. Got glue on my hands. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut this little loop here. Okay, and then there you have a pretty little tag. Now you can use lace or sorry silk or um, seam binding, whatever you want to use as the topper. Um, you don't have to use lace, you can use eyelash trim, pretty much anything you want to use. Fabric. Okay, so there's a simple tag. So you can do that or you can take like one like this size or whatever size you want. But this one came off of um, uh, a paper studio paper pack. And so, um, I kind of want to grunge this up a little bit and make it look a little older. So, actually, I don't think I have to get rid of that. We are going to... Now, if you don't have this tag punch, let's just do it this way. If you don't have that tag punch, I'm going to go ahead and trim this off since we're going to do it a different way. Okay. So, I'm just going to cut a corner here to start my tag shape. And then I'm just going to take this and flip it over. Put it on the other side and cut this side using that as a template and now we have an even tag okay so now let's go ahead I'm gonna round the corners of this one we can go ahead and ink the edges Okay, and then I want to put a little something on here just to kind of decorate it up. So I have some little bits and pieces over here. Um, this is from a very old, um, it was from like 1880 something. Um, it was like a German devotional, like a Bible devotional. So let's just use some of this. I tried to fold it the page to put it in a, a journal and of course it's brittle so it broke apart so I thought it would be perfect to use this as some collage material so we will use this like that and it's beautiful beautiful paper and um, I have not coffee dyed this or anything I've not done anything to dinge it up or you know make it look grungy it just this is just the natural aging okay so I'm going to come down this way just a little bit just to make it fit a little better on there so we can um, and it doesn't have to be in the center if you want to cover up these lines you know you can cover up these lines but I just kind of want to put like a little focal point or something on here so let's see I have that I've got some of this um, no I don't want to use that let's see I've just got some different stuff um, Let's use a goat out of this. This is just some um, wrapping paper that I got last Christmas at the Tractor Supply. And I thought it was so cute. And it was in with the Christmas wrapping paper. Um, but you can use this year-round because it doesn't actually 
look like Christmassy paper. So you can use it for anything. So we could do something like that. I mean, something just really simple like that is super cute. Let's do that. All right, so where is my glue stick? I had it. I had one. Hold on a minute. Holy crow, where'd it grow? One second. Okay, I found it. All right, so let's just pull our little book up here. I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, I might like the other side better. No, let's just do this side. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little glue stick on my vintage book page. And we're going to put him about right here. And then we'll put some here. Put that there. And that just kind of vintages it up, if that's a word. I don't know that that's a word, but I'm making it a word, so <laughs> makes it look vintagey. <laughs> All right, and then I have um, like this little milk milk bottle, milk top bottle, milk, milk bottle top. Holy cow! I cannot speak today, and this is an actual one, I think, because it's actually got the little shape in it and everything. I think this one is a true vintage one. Um, I believe one of my friends sent it to me. So, I don't know if you can see it, but it's still got the staple in it and everything. So, let's just add him on here. Do we? Ooh, that would be cute to add him up there. Ooh, yes, let's do that. And then you could actually just let this be finished. So, I think I'm going to add him on with some hot glue just to make sure we have a good hold. Okay. And it gives us just enough time to wiggle it around just a little bit to make sure we're straight. And that we've got a good hold to it. Okay. Now, how cute is that? I mean, that's a simple tag. That didn't take hardly um, no time at all. So, you could go on the back and you could do a little inking. Let's do a little inking back here. I don't know if I've got any ink left on this, but we're going to try. You know, if you don't like the stark white on the back side, then you can do something like this. Ooh, I've got something even funner. Let's try. I have these little vinyl, um, like doilies, and I got from uh, my friend Linda. Let's just do this and ink it. How about that? Because you can still write on top of it even after you ink it. Let's just see what we look, what it looks like. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I know I keep promising y'all a better camera setup, but um, we have just had so much going on lately, and now um, any of you who are prayers, if you pray. Um, I would appreciate it if you would um, lift up the doctor that my husband works for. He is actually in the hospital now. He has flu, double pneumonia, and COVID. And I just got word from my husband that they are not expecting him to make it through the night. So if you pray, pray for that family. Um, pray for that business. And for my husband and I. Um, you know, to, to know how to help them through this time um, because it's very, very sad. It's um, this COVID business is ugly business. So, anyways, i just throw that in there while we're decorating. But that's cute. Isn't that cute? So, um, I think I want to do one more thing and I want to um, let me grab something real quick. Okay, I was looking to see if I had some kind of like a little doily or something. And I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to cut all of those little pieces off 
or leave them. Maybe I'll leave them. And then I wonder, should I grunge it up? But we have the white there, so I think I like the white contrasting against that darker um, antiqued paper or whatever. So I think we'll just go ahead and just glue this down. Whoops. So we'll just put him right there. And then maybe we'll find a button or something pretty to put here. Let's see what we've got over here. Sorry for my reach. I've got a couple of cute little buttons in here. Oh, I like the green. That'd be pretty with that green that's on there. Let's do that. And then... I have found that in my new craft room setup, um, I still don't have everything organized and so I I feel like I have spent my whole day trying to find stuff <laughs> so I'm gonna have to spend some time um, going back through and, and trying to figure out you know how to make it work for me a little better because right now it's just not very functional but I think um, I think the organizing part is an ongoing process in any kind of craft room. And even in your house. I mean, I'm constantly trying to find creative ways to organize things in my house. And that seems like a never-ending process. And since we went and got all of that stuff from that estate sale, um, I've been doing a major purge in my house and in my garage. Just trying to clear things out that, you know, haven't used in forever and my husband can he tries to be a hoarder <laughs> he'll be like oh no let's keep that and I'm like babe we haven't used that in a year if we haven't used it in a year it's leaving here I don't have room for it so <laughs> I have to kind of battle him on that <laughs> because he he would be a hoarder if I would let him so it's just been crazy but yeah I just definitely need some some organizing done in my craft room okay I want to see if I have any more cheesecloth yes I just want a little bit of cheesecloth poking out from under that button just to grunge it up just a little and break up some of that white so let's just do that I got something on my <laughs> on my glue gun well I have lots of somethings on my glue gun but Okay, so we'll just put that there, and I like it. Simple, easy tag, and it's a good sturdy tag made out of your um, paper pack cover. All right, so where are we on our time? We're at 18 minutes. Um, so I'll just show you another, um, well, let me just do this real quick. Like, when you have pieces like this, like, I would never use this in anything because I don't really make travel journals um, or vacation journals because I never go anywhere. I'm always working. <laughs> I'm always here in my craft room. So, anyways, I mean, a lot of people use these, and they're super cute. It's just not something that I would use. That's what I'm trying to say. So, what I would do is I would just take the whole thing. I'm going to trim. Actually, you don't even have to trim it up because I would just take something and just cover the whole thing, like... This is cute. This is um, from Sewing Pattern. So, um, but that's not quite long enough. But I do have this piece here. It's like a, um, a map. It's a coffee dyed map. I don't even know where this came from. So, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my glue stick. I don't know if my glue stick will work. I might need to use my Fabri-Tac. Maybe I'll use my Fabri-Tac. Hang on, let me get the glue to come down. Okay. I hate having to watch the glue come down to the bottom. It's like, oh my goodness. Can we just get it glued? Okay. Fabri-Tac is not working for me today. I need to do something with that bottle. So we're just going to use this. And we're just going to spread this out over our tag. We're just going to cover the whole tag.
Now, because this paper is kind of thin, you know, if you want to take your finger and, and kind of smush this glue in, you can. The reason I'm using a wet glue versus a glue stick is because sometimes on a paper pack, you know, it has that shiny surface. So, I just worry that a glue stick is not, it's not going to stick as good. I don't know why I took that off my book. Um, you know, to that shiny stuff as um, wet glue will. And I could be completely wrong. Maybe I should try it one time and see, but I just always get paranoid. I don't want, you know, I don't want it coming up um, on the edges or anything. So I always just want to make sure it's good, good and adhered, adhered down to it. So, okay. So then we're just going to turn this over. I'm not going to decorate this because we're at, we're already at a good time. All right, so we're just going to lay him down. Let's lay him down in the corner right there. And we'll just line him up with those lines. Where did my... And I'm just going to kind of burnish it down a little. Now, see, on this, on this one, this side's a little bit shiny, too. So I would probably put something... On this side too but you know you can just put coffee dyed paper or whatever on this side and then I'm just gonna cut this out I attempted to sharpen my scissors today they seem to be working a little bit better my hands aren't working very good, but my scissors are working better. <laughs> it's not one thing, it's a hundred, right? Okay. I think because it's wet with glue a little bit, it's not cutting as good, but... And it could just be my hands not, not cooperating with me. All right. So then I'm just going to take it on this side and just burnish it down a little bit. So then you have a good sturdy tag. Um, and you have it, I mean, it's already grunged up. It looks vintage. Now you can decorate this. I'm not going to do it in this video because we're already at 22 minutes. So, um... You know, I'm trying to keep these kind of short, um, but you can cut your corners the way you want them to, uh, you know, like a tag, or you can round all four corners. This could be a tag or a bookmark, however you want to do it. And you can put a piece of lace up here. You can put a flower up there. You can put a piece of fabric. Let's grab a piece of fabric real quick. What do we have? Nope. Okay, I have this cute chicken fabric. Let's use some of that. I don't know if these scissors will cut it, but we're going to try. Maybe. I am going to order me one of those scissors sharpeners. Um, I just need to do some research on them and look it up and find out <laughs> which one's the best one to get. Okay, so... Then we can just put him up top here. How cute is that with the chicken fabric? You can staple it, you can stitch it, you can stitch all the way around, whatever you want to do. So those are some options of how you can make tags with your, um, your paper pack covers. So these are just those three that we've made there and you know that didn't take us any time at all and it probably would have taken less time for you um, with my hands not functioning properly but then I took the little ones the little pieces like um, let me see if I can find one to show you okay like this paper pack you know how they have the the long skinny pieces that you can cut out and you can cut them whatever width you want to cut them and make tags out of them um, but I used them, and I just cut the single one out, 
and then added in um, eyelets and then this one I think is this little skinny strip right here or similar to it somewhere maybe from the back of it um, but anyways so I just kind of um, you know put eyelet in there I put an eyelet in there and then just add a little bull pin some jute twine put some lace on there and a button and just put a little decoration on that back tag and it turned out super cute so you can do that here's one that I cut out you know you could put that on here or whatever so anyways there's some ideas of um, some different tags that you can make I'm just gonna go ahead and I don't really like that on there let's do I'm trying to find a cute fabric y'all to put on there this is some of my it's just not the right orientation it's not standing up straight <laughs> that might be cute but it's um it still wouldn't this pig wouldn't be standing in the right direction anyways we're gonna leave that like that i'm not even messing with it evidently my brain is saying ha 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 you're not gonna get this done today so <laughs> i'm tired oh, so anyways this is some samples of some tags that you can make from just using your um, the covers on your paper pads. So don't throw these away. They, uh, they're they good sturdy um, pieces that you can use to decorate in your journal with or to make ephemera to put into your journal. So I hope you enjoyed that. I um, hope you enjoyed. I hope I wasn't too annoying with my just playing around stuff and... Um, you know, sometimes I just like to do a craft with me. I just like to turn the camera on and run my mouth while I'm <laughs> while I'm doing a craft. Y'all look, I found the perfect thing that needs to go on the top of this tag. This right here is what I want to go on the top of this tag. I think Sarah sent me this. It's some of that vintage ribbon. And we just need to cut it down just a little bit because it's a little bit too wide. So anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. I appreciate the support. Um, I do appreciate the prayers for my husband's work family um, during this uh, very difficult time and very sad time. So um, thank y'all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for me if you will. And um, I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.